All right, so it's October 1st, and I have my very first piece of art for Inktober, or Drawtober, or Fighttober, as this probably is going to end up turning out to be. Um, I drew Takeda from Mortal Kombat. I actually had been requested to do a redesign of Takeda, and I don't know, it's always weird. Number one, my redesign choices, for the most part, are random, but I don't know, it's always weird doing redesigns for characters that are already in the games, that's why I honestly try to do those sparingly but i do have quite a few requests like that this just happened to be perfect because i need drawing ideas for the next 31 days so some of those kind of redesigns might be getting intentionally picked for quite a while then there are just other ideas and stuff that i might want to do over the course of the month but we'll see i have a lot of time at this point but i drew takeda and I just went ahead and made a redesign form since that's my thing on this channel anyways. I went with doing a Shira Ryu variation form, basically a scorpion looking Takeda design. Um, I didn't want it to look like the Shira Ryu variation that he had in MKX and I feel like MK1 did a good job of blending in that old design that he had along with like his new almost cyber ninja look that he well not new but the cyber ninja look that he has normally so i wanted to lean a little bit more in the traditional ninja space while adding a bunch of accessories and whatnot to him like i said something close to that alternate that he had in mortal kombat x but i also wanted it to look closer to scorpion this time around too um his actual top, instead of having the little ninja cloth go across one half of his body, I went ahead and did it on both. But don't worry, a big thing with me on this channel is asymmetry in my designs. It's still there. For whatever reason, I had sort of a bunch of accessories and like gear and armor on one arm and I didn't put it on the other one. So his skin is bare on his right arm and on the left one, it's very intricately designed with a bunch of accessories and all that sort of good stuff um what else did i do with this design so i kept the headband because i thought it was cool i'm not sure i don't think he had the headband for the mkx design i could be wrong in that but i'm almost positive that he didn't but i like to keep it with the headband i think it looks cool so i kept that with him here um this honestly took forever to draw and the reason for that is Takeda has a wild amount of accessories in his design. So in doing this, I didn't want it to look like I just had random pieces stuck on him. So I meticulously made sure to do his accessories and pieces of his gear justice. And also I wanted to get the, I was about to say hooks, but I don't know what you would call the whips that he has. I guess whips, right? Don't pay attention to me. But anyways, I wanted to get those into the design as well it wasn't complicated in terms of drawing it just really really time consuming this video is sped up quite a bit so you won't get a full feel of just how long it took to do these but yeah it was quite a while um so much so that i almost forgot to add on the piece on the back of Takeda that sort of helps the hooks sort of expand and contract how i almost forgot that i have no idea but uh yeah it was a fun drawing to do and a very interesting way to start off Inktober. Normally when I do these drawing challenges and it's been a few years since I did this particular one, it, my first drawing is always like a rough one. Like it's just me getting the kinks out of sort of trying to figure out how I'm going to do this, getting over the nervousness of starting the art challenge in general. This year wasn't so bad. I think that's also because I'm just in such a habit of drawing regularly on this channel. It wasn't that bad, but for my first drawing for this month, this Takeda picture wasn't all that bad at all. And I mean, coloring and shading and stuff like that, it wasn't too hard. And the coloring especially, like I know what he's gonna look like. A bunch of blacks, grays, and yellows, like not that difficult at all, at least in the thinking department. Like I said, this was just more of a real time consuming drawing more than anything else. And then I made the last minute decision at the end as well to, I should have brought this up, to make the actual whips that he has look like they're on fire or extremely heated. Almost like Jax's arms in Mortal Kombat 11. So I made them look fiery in the very end. So 
Yep, that's day one. It's my very first piece of artwork for Inktober. I'm pretty proud of this one so far, but we got 31 days. So hopefully, if all things considered, this ends up being my worst drawing for the next month. But who knows? We'll definitely find out. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Feedback is always appreciated. And it's definitely going to be needed for me to get through this challenge for the next month. But in any event, like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And you all have a good one. And I'm out.